welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog i thought i'd pick up the camera over the next day or two possibly three got a couple of things going on and um thought i would bring you along with me so first things first is today which is very exciting i'm going to well going to city center going into manchester to celebrate the launch of Lydia, my friend, my good friend Lydia's collection with Pretty Lavish. The edit that she's done with them is amazing. I've seen sneak peeks. I've got some um, pieces which I'm going to try and decide which one to wear and then head on into town, go to that event. Some point as well, I think Tom's mentioned about going to Cheshire Oaks, so we will do that. And yeah, sit back, relax, make sure you've got a nice cozy drink, put your feet up and let's get into today's video. I do need to sort of like curl my hair, finish my makeup, get changed and everything before I go. But before I do, I did have an order arrive, which I wanted to share with you. And I know some of you are gonna absolutely love this because it does include some autumnal themed things. Today's video is sponsored by Redbubble and if you've not heard of Redbubble before it's basically an online website that you can shop loads of different things from homeware goods to stationery and now a new pet section which is so exciting so it's basically set up to help different creators and online artists to upload their designs sell them so the benefit to that as a shopping customer is that you can get access to so many different designs the artist gets paid and then you of course receive your products so i have received an order which i put in all from the pet section on this occasion i thought i'd just share with you some of the designs that i did pick up i will leave a direct link to redbubble in the description below where you can click through and and I also have a discount code for you guys, which gets you 15% off. That does, however, expire on the 30th of August, so make sure to be quick. I'll leave it in the description box below, but it's essentially RBC hyphen pets hyphen Freya Farrington. So the first thing I'm gonna share with you is a selection of bandanas that I picked up. I'll start with those Halloween-y autumn ones that I was talking to you about. So this one I feel like could be a good trick or treat bandana. I feel like any trick or treaters that knock on the door. And the designer who did this one is Scorpion hyphen Joe. And then I also did pick up this one from a different designer we all know i'm a big pumpkin spice lover living on pumpkin spice and this is by gdc designs and then another designer lovely b7 has created this design which kind of reminded me of harry potter gryffindor but it's just a cute little autumn bandana with some pumpkins on then i did also pick up this one for i mean it's not barney's birthday until november but his birthday bandana that he's already got is first birthday. So I realized after buying that, I'm not gonna be able to reuse that every year. So I decided to pick him up a more generic one. And this is by the designer Picks. And then I also got this one, which I thought was a really good idea. They had them with Nervous on as well in a yellow color, I think, or red. But it says, hello, I'm friendly, attention, welcome. It just allows people to know if Barney's running up to them. He's not running to attack, he's running for kisses and cuddles. And this is by North Merch Co. The Hills Shop have created this little Christmas one. Of course, if I'm going seasonal, I have to get a Christmas one in there. And not only do they do bandanas, they also do bone mats and blankets. I did pick up just this very neutral kind of beigey stone colored one from a designer called Add Up. And then I also picked up the matching blanket, which from the same designer is just plain and simple. I love this. It's so soft. I did also pick up this one, this more fun one, let's just say. And this is by a designer called Rebecca Flaherty. And oh my God, wait till you see it, guys. I'm actually going to have to sit back so you can see. <gasps> Look at this blanket. It says Star Pups Puppuccino. I love that. I think that's my favorite one. So thank you to them for very kindly working with me and now time for me to finish getting ready and I'll probably next see you guys when I get to Lydia's. Buddy! Put all the treats in here. Hey buddy! And they'll create up and he sniffs them out. Oh yeah that's good as well. Yeah. And that's what he's sniffing on then. Yeah, <laughs> I'm at Lydia's. <laughs> Woo! So this is the dress of the two. This is the one that I'm in, the white one. This is Lydia's obviously. Lydia's range. <laughs> Pretty lush. Um, I was gonna wear this, and this got voted for me to wear. I know it did. Did you I see? Everyone's it. like the, black, the I, black. I didn't have a preference. I just clicked on one to see what. To see what it was. Says. Yeah, no, everyone was saying the black, but I did go for the white because white is, I'd say, a bit more me. 
but I do really love the black one. Are you so, gonna wear this another time? Yeah, we were gonna twin, but maybe we, we can twin another time. Yeah. Yeah, and I've gone for flats. Lydia's braving it with heels. It's just a low heel. A low They're heel. Quite comfy, these. Oh. And Otte is coming with us. <laughs> we wish. We wish you were coming with us. Don't we? We are en route. We decided to get an Uber from Lydia's. And it's a little bit windy today. A little bit windy, so we're gonna help. <laughs> Can't get my seatbelt on. Oh, there it is. Got it. Oh, you know when it's stuck. There we go. We're in. Um, are you excited? Yes. To be honest, actually, it should be really nice. Yeah. By the time we're actually filming this, so the launch is tonight, isn't it? Seven ish. Yes, so, Monday the 4th of July. Yeah, so obviously this video going up a bit delayed, it's probably all Who sold knows? out. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you going to do like relaunches or anything? Do you just see how it goes? So, yeah, I think no set plans for definite. Okay, but yeah, go with the exciting stuff. I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in me We'll work it out Probably going to be a little bit windy talking here, but um, just left Lydia. So proud! Such a lovely collection that she's got with Pretty Lavish. So, after a very wholesome three course meal, I am now back to um, I need to go find Tom actually. He's parked by his office. We were going to go to Cheshire Oaks, we might do that tomorrow now. It's a quarter to five already, so yeah, we might end up doing that tomorrow. I'll see what, what he fancies, but yeah, such a good event. And let's go find Tommy, and he's got Barney too. Oh, I'm a bit shiny. Where's my little boomers? There he is. You look very big in this car. <laughs> my car situation, it's a bit of a situation. So I am without a car for about another week. Um, I've been without one for about a week so far, because my old one went back, which was at least. And my new one, Tesla, has been postponed. Oh, thank you. So, um, I'm basically having to hire a car for a couple of months until my test is ready, which is fine. But I, it doesn't get delivered until next week, so <laughs> it means that Tom's car is quite low down. And we've not really had him in a car like this before. Mind you, I think he's enjoying this little nose out the window, which he oh, doesn't get in the boot. Awesome. How was he in the office? Chilled out. Chilled out. It's that um, good run around this morning that's done it, I think. Um, yeah, I'd book him in at the groomers, but how can I get him there? We're saying he's a bit stinky and needs a bath. I could just bath him in my shower. I've got some puppy shampoo. Ready tomorrow, no, but I can like bath him in my shower. Yeah, I suppose his shower's going to be ready very soon. Um, but anyway, yeah, we, Tom was eager for Cheshire and she said, yeah, you could go, but it's five o'clock by the time we get there with yeah, rush hour traffic. Yeah, but then it's like, oh no. I think we should, we're best off just going tomorrow, getting up and going. And we can take the dog as well. Feet up. You know, else do feet up over tram lines or or train lines, train tracks. Yeah, you just kind of like put it on the gas pedal. Gas pedal. Is that what you call it in England? Gas pedal? Is that American? What do you call it? The acceleration. Um. Oh look, it's a new. Oh, that's what it is. That's. N I wondered where that was. The old Grand Pacific, not Grand Pacific. Yeah, what was it called? Grill on New York Street. It's Nami now. I've got a mark there. Anyway, so yeah, I think we're gonna head back now. I've had a three-course meal. I know. Good. On a Monday afternoon, it was delicious. I was jealous though, because I. I completely bypassed the fact that on my pre-order I ordered the burrata salad, no burrata starter, but then I went for the halloumi main, so I doubled up on cheese, which is a bit of an error on my part. 
um, because the shepherd's pie looked incredible. I was very jealous of the people that were ordering the shepherd's pie. And then profiteroles for dessert, which were like a whole course in itself that I would have been fine with just the profiteroles. And then we had coffee and Prosecco and Aperol. So you sound a bit jolly. I'm just happy to be with you. You and, and little Boonez in the back. Oh, he's lying down there. Yeah, he was on oh. sleep earlier. He was. In the office? No, yeah, in the office. In the really? Office. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Anyway, I'm glad the sun's come out. I was a bit worried it was going to be a bit cold for a summer's dress, but everyone looks lovely in the collection. I was going to wear the black one that you guys voted for me to wear that Lydia wore, and I thought, oh, Lydia's wearing it though, it's her day. She was like, no, no, twin with me, it's fine. There were about five people in that dress. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, but it looked good. And then there were three people in the chocolate brown two-piece set, which was lovely. I nearly went for that in the green. Um, I might just buy it anyway, because it is gorgeous. What's that face for? Look, Tommy's on the air up pipe. Got him, got him hooked. What's that shocked face for? What for? <laughs> you always do that eye to the camera like David Friend. <laughs> face for you go <laughs> I said to Tom yesterday what actor or actress would play me and I said Ricky Gervais would play you <laughs> obviously you look nothing alike but you're the same personality same humor same like values and beliefs and you know, he's not married, he likes dogs. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Do you not think it's weird though when Ricky Joyce is like my girlfriend? No. It's a bit weird. Barney's Trump. Barney's not Trump, have you, buddy? You don't know what Trump is. Oh my god, look at his legs. He sat with his legs akimbo. His ankles together and his legs apart. <laughs> you right, buddy? Oh, baby. You know, stay with daddy. Yeah. Give your mummy kisses. Getting some hooks in this. Oh. Driving down Dean's game. Am I going to get copyrighted for this? I don't know. That's the coma. Oh, I'm, it's giving me a headache already. No, no. I can't. Did you just lock it with your phone? My hand. Oh, how have you done it with your hand? Yes. Yeah, but how? What's your hand got in it? No, you just you said the, the gesture that you give it. All right. Anyway, we have arrived in. Oh, what's that noise? We've arrived in Wilmslow. We're gonna come. We'll drop Tom off at his physio appointment. His foot is getting better and better. I'm not gonna focus, am I? I think we're just gonna grab some brunch breakfast whilst we're here. You wanna maybe give me your keys just in case your appointment's a bit longer. Um, but yeah, where should we go for lunch? Breakfast, brunch, lunch. I'm gonna have some yummy food whilst we're here. We always make a trip out of his physio appointments because there's so many nice dog friendly places to eat here. Take them. Fire in there. Looks cosy in there. Barney's new little setup, which we'll see all I've seen. Oh, you've got a good dashboard display on yours. I can't do that. On my old one that went back. So we went to Juniper's, which you'll have seen. I had fish finger sandwich, fish finger burger. You had cheeseburger, cheese and bacon. It was good, wasn't it? Delish. It's actually the second time Tom's had it. He was like, oh. When we got there, I already know what I'm having. Do you know what you're having? No, not yet. I'll have a look at the menu. <laughs> I can see what you're doing. I'm trying to tip my camera over. <laughs> can read you like a book. Now, we did try and go to Bozzy Bee's Bakery. However, 
closed Monday to Wednesday. So next physio appointment next week. Tom's booked it on a Friday. I thought Friday morning I can chill a little bit and get some breakfast for you. Oh yeah, it's morning appointment, isn't it? We can have a nice breakfast. I do love a little trip to Wilms though. Um, when I was at Lydia's launch yesterday, I did, um, I was speaking to Ruby and she's got a dog and they're based Cheshire Way. And um, she recommended The Edge, which I've never done before. I think it's actually a national park. Do you know like a style? Yeah, like Alderley Edge National Park. And then there's a good tea rooms there, apparently Wizard, I think it's called, I think she said, but yeah, we'll have to try that next time. But yeah, we've enjoyed it. A nice little trip in the sunshine. Tom's gonna go to a meeting now in town. So depending on what time he's done with that, we may still go to Cheshire Oaks, but it probably would be an evening thing if we do end up going. So we'll see. Been banging on about Cheshire Oaks. <laughs> what does not even end up going? What are you after at Cheshire Oaks? Just shoes. Churches. Yeah. Well, so what's the difference between the ones that you've already got and the ones that you want to get? It's what you wear them with. As in like what sort of style would you go for? If you've got like a brogue now. Oh, so more like a... Summery. Loafer. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that, they'd be nice actually. Is that a good one? I don't want to No, it's not. It's not a great car. It's not, but it's a young lad. So it's well done. <laughs> Having the right. <laughs> oh Taste. dear. Shot. Anyway, let's get back home. <clears throat> which, you reckon, which way do you reckon it's quicker? Well, I don't know. I think it depends on if there's potential road closures that way, but actually, the other way is a bit more of a main road, isn't it? So, whichever. Whichever. Can't wait to get a car. Bit of freedom. structure a bit more of a plan with strikes and everything with the trains at the minute. There's only been one week of no they were saying they were saying yesterday in Manchester when they came up from London they had about three different cancelled trains. Eventually got here. Anyway, check in with you in a bit when we're potentially now and um, I thought I would show you actually the other bits that I got from Lydia's collection, Lydia's range which is now live, launched last night but anyway this is the pair of shorts that I picked up from Pretty Lavish, they also do them in like a lighter colour, I think it's just the two colour options, so I went for the more darker stone um, beige, do they call it? colour taupe. I did get them in a 12 and I would say actually just stay true to size. I'm usually like 10 to 12. I probably could have got away with a 10 or a 12 to be honest with you. But the fact that they have belt loops I thought I'd be able to cinch in nice and snug. So I got that and then I also did pick up this basic. Again this comes in I think it's three different colours. They've definitely got black because I have my eyes on the black and then I think they have it in like a cream as well. But obviously this is beige. In a medium, I got this one. This is called the Jameson One Shoulder Knit Top. It's a really beautiful um, knit. It feels really, really nice. And then in the whole PR package, they did actually send a few other goodies, which is very kind of them. It's a 10 Miracle Leave In product for your hair. This is a um, Manuka Honey Mask. Cleanse your skin, spirit this luscious face mask that leaves skin soothed and intensely hydrated. Then we also got a an SPF 50, it's tinted cream this one. And then from Paul and Joe, the um, this is the Sun Protection Body Primer Clear. Again, SPF 50. Very summery kind of little PR package, this one. Oh my god, how cute is this? So in this little drawstring bag from the lovely edit oh i didn't even see this this is so cute it's a little bracelet that has freya on it i love these little gemstones how nice is that and it's got little gold beads as well which is good for me because i tend to wear, wear um gold jewelry moonstone femininity balance new beginnings handmade with love made with semi-precious crystals and sterling silver on a 14 karat gold filled metal 
that is so nice and then last but not least in this package from beauty pie the super luminous under eye genius brightening corrector cream so this is like a little um under eye kind of concealer kind of brightener product i i think i'm actually i need to change the sheets <laughs> That's on my agenda for the rest of this afternoon. I um, jumped out the car. Tom dropped me off. He's gone off to his meeting. And I've realised I've left my laptop in his car. So I can't really get any work done. So what I'm actually going to do is just... I've just been putting things away. I'm going to switch out our bedding. That needs a desperate wash. Now that we're pretty much um, back to having util utility room, I can get that washed. Um, I don't know how to hang these up they fit like this yeah and yeah just wait for Tom to get home essentially so that we can head off to the shops I feel like I need a bit of a coffee now I feel like I need a pick me up a bit of a wake me up I think having sat in that sun for a bit I'm just a bit like <sighs> need some energy I did also get this oh god my shins right okay so you know I've talked about my fun little running um enjoyment i've been getting from doing little runs with barney i think i've got shin splints so if anyone's got any experience with shin splints and how to avoid it how to kind of carry on with it but my shins uh, they've been like this for a while but progressively have got worse with each run i've done so i just i really don't want to stop but i feel like the only way to recover from having looked online is to just stop rest ice compression elevate um and it's only in certain positions it hurts like if i kind of press on it it's right on the front of my shins like right at the bottom on both ones just here so yeah any experience with them please let me know what to do but yeah i also got this little glossy box parcel arrived yesterday when i was out and i'm not sure what my this must be the July box. Um, oh, there's a HelloFresh little voucher in there. But also Skin and Me, and I've really wanted to try this Skin and Me. Has anyone else ever tried this? It's kind of like customised, so yeah, I might try that out soon. Um, so anyway, this little glossy box just has kind of little tangle teaser type thing. Elf Cosmetics Lip Plumping Gloss a nail file little nail polish from nail zinc that's a nice color as well and then balance brave new hair a soothing and moisturizing leave-in scalp tonic and then from josephine a liquid eyeliner ready to go well you're not ready yet i love the fact that trusha oaks trusha oaks is dog friendly so we always take barney boo with us don't we they love you there come on put your lead on I've decided to just switch up um, my blazer, essentially. In fact, I say that in terms of look-wise, because actually I've had a shower and I've freshened up. I've got some Lulu's on. These are actually not the Align ones that I usually would wear. These are the Wonder Under, and they are slightly more compression, more compressive, but still comfy nonetheless and then just a basic white tee this one's from h&m zara blazer my other one that i had on earlier the green one was zara as well they're just good for their good old basics in fact i don't know i won't put that on just yet because i don't know where dad is he says he's close but he's not quite here just yet the two places i want to go is all saints see if they've got any discount on that leather skies perfume that i mentioned in my um let me get rid of my chewing gum categories to be talking with chewing gum in um yeah i want to see i mentioned it in my monthly favorites from my last which was it it must have been hello july vlog yeah that's just recently gone live that um i had a little sample of leather skies from all saints the fragrance that they do amazing i had it on holiday in um italy so i'm going to see if they happen to have that and if so discounted because that'd be a bonus someone messaged me actually saying with look fantastic discount currently on you can get it for like 38 quid so i might even just do that and then also lululemon i always have a quick look to see if they've got any aligned leggings in at discounted rate and tom loves lululemon so we always have a look in there and then we're also going to go to churches which is where tom wants to hopefully get a pair of shoes for wimbledon so yeah that is the plan hopefully you'll be here any minute We'll get on the road and we'll go. I'm getting pretty, pretty peckish myself, even though we had that big fish finger sandwich. It's 
kind of a late one for us. It is, it's five o'clock, it's not late. But by the time we do going shopping first, by the time we get there, park up, we'll probably be eating about eight o'clock, I would have thought. That's late for us. We usually eat about six o'clock. Tom's just picked me up and he was like, oh, let me just quick run into the toilet. <laughs> She's the builder's toilet. What's it like in there? What's it like in there? Horrible. Hello, booty! booty. We sat waiting for you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Boo so he was two minutes away, so we stood outside. I thought, I'll enjoy the sunshine. 20 minutes later. It's like that. Um... <laughs> Can you get them comfy? Oh, oh that's nice. wait till we got home <gasps> brownie box we decided to treat ourselves we both got a kinder one each oh you went for caramel that surprises me i got caramac i think i might have my kinder one as well looks delish and we're back just in time for do, 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 do. which tom is heavily invested in right now I know, but well, it's just this whole album is funny. This is our Drive With Me playlist. It's a new day, guys, and sorry I didn't finish off the vlog at Cheshire Oaks or like finish sharing with you what I picked up. Thought I would start fresh, start a brand new day. It was, I was gonna say it's late by the time we got back. It was Love Island time by the time we got back, so. I'm fully invested in Love Island, so that took priority. But anyway, I did pop into, you know I was mentioning I wanted to get some of the Leather Skies from All Saints. They did have the fragrance in store. They were 49 pounds. However, because I'd seen that you can get them for 38 on Look Fantastic at the minute, I figured I might as well, it'd be silly to purchase them for 49 pounds. Having said that, when I was there, she was like, oh, do you want me to give you a load of samples? And I was like, yeah, of course, why not? So she did give me another of the Leather Skies. Last time I only got Concrete Rain and Leather Skies. So just before I purchase that Leather Skies, I am going to test out these ones and see if I prefer any of them. There's Metal Wave, Flora, Mortis, and Incense City. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all of them. And then the only other item I purchased apart from a dog biscuit for Barney, some food for ourselves, was Lululemon leggings. I did pick up two pairs, and actually, I say leggings, this first set are a pair of shorts. This is from the Align range. I love this colour. I actually have the full length leggings in this colour, and I wear them all the time. However, I thought a cycle short would be really good for the summer. I like the length of them. The only thing is, they didn't have my size, which is usually for Lululemon a 6, which is UK 10. The Align leggings are quite a soft fabric so um i just assumed well they don't have they've got a four and an eight like american sizes four and eight whereas usually i'm a six in lululemon now i was just going to purchase the eight and the woman said 
just try on the four and the eight because with the align if anything people would size down and i was thinking okay i'll try a four i went for the four just because i do feel like at eight i'd have to like hoist up or they they were quite big for me 34 pounds I went for them and then I also did pick up a crop aligner I don't think I've got this length no this is 23 so I know they do a 21 like capri style crop style but this is 23 the standard size that I wear is 25 although I have got one pair of 28 but I do have to roll them up at the ends um but yeah this is like a camo kind of print and it's also the design that has the pockets on the side so i tend to use the ones with the pockets on the side if i'm going for like a really long walk and i just want to put my phone in my pocket or even a jog a run and the fact that they are cropped as well i thought these would carry me through the rest of the summer for whilst i'm doing my little jogs or my long walks with barney so yeah picked them up these ones were reduced from 88 down to 59 overall somewhat successful trip the fact that tom was going for shoes for wimbledon and the place that he wanted to go to churches has now closed that was not the most successful trip for him but yeah i did get some leggings and some little perfume samples but that is everything that i got apart from that i feel like i'm going to close off this vlog i feel like it's been long enough hopefully not too long hopefully not too short i never know until i get to get around to editing these videos but if you're a fan of the vlogs do let me know and i will be sure to continue to do them thank you so so much for watching this video thank you to redbubble for very kindly sponsoring it don't forget to take advantage of that 15 percent off code which i will leave in the description box below for you along with a link to click through shop the website let me know any items that you do pick up from them and yeah i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video Bye guys.